question for you. Should all school buses have seat belts? Well, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration believes it'll make kids safer. But not everyone thinks that way. Eight on your side's Lindsay Mastis shows us why. A lot of people are weighing in on this, especially because of what happened in our area this year. You'll remember this Hillsborough County bus. It crashed and ended up on its side in the water. It didn't have seat belts. Well, some of the students on board and their parents told me they believe if students had been buckled in, it would have trapped kids beneath the water. Now, take a look at this crash test video. It shows what happens when buses crash. Each year, 7,200 kids are injured and four kids die, according to the American Academy of Pediatrics. And that's why these new recommendations include installing three-point seatbelts on every school bus in the United States. Well, we're getting a lot of comments for and against seatbelts on our Facebook page from parents as well as school bus drivers. Lauren asks, if the law requires we buckle children in a motor vehicle, why are buses exempt? Michelle says she drives a school bus with seatbelts and says she can't force kids to wear them. Instead, she says they're hitting each other with them and even trying to tie up some of their classmates. Carolyn worries about what would happen if there was a fire on board or if the bus ended up in deep water. Could the driver get everyone out of their seatbelts? And some people are offering solutions. Pamela wants drivers to have a button that they can press to unbuckle all the seatbelts at once. Well, we want to know what you think. Will seatbelts make buses safer? You can join the discussion on our WFLA Facebook page. Back to you. Well, Florida is one of six states that require seatbelts on most large school buses, but it does not apply to buses built before 2001. Well, what do you think? You can share your thoughts on whether or not you think students need to have seatbelts on school buses. Just head to our News Channel 8 Facebook page and sound off.